Did you know that a bur oak tree, in its first year, not that they always do this, but they are capable of putting a tap root down five feet? So when you have a bur oak raised in a tree nursery, every year that tree nursery prunes those roots so that when it comes time to ball and burlap it a number of years later, they can put it in a ball that uh, you would recognize about that big around. Of course, that's really compromised the ability of the tree to just take off and to really thrive. I mean, it, it can catch up, but it's, it really stunts it. So anyway, if a tree can germinate in place, it can do great from the very beginning. And that helps them to survive droughts. And of course, with global warming, we have droughts being an issue. And uh, just, you know, the urban environment here is kind of harsh. So they germinate in place. They are just a lot better prepared to survive. So I thought, well, I haven't done this sort of thing before. I mean, I've germinated tree seeds in my garden and then, uh, you know, moved them around my yard or given them to people, and they've done very, very well. I've had great success. So I thought, what if I offered to plant tree seeds along here to replace these missing trees as kind of an experiment and see how they do? And uh, the school system said, sure, you can try that. So I went out and I collected tree seeds and I've got everything from bur oak to tulip poplar to buckeye to bald cypress to hickory, beech, and a lot of others. So I'm just planting a variety of trees. And one reason why I'm planting a variety instead of all one tree is because if you plant only one tree species and a blight comes through like the emerald ash borer, it wipes out all of those trees. Matter of fact, did you know that when the Dutch elm disease came through, the urban foresters at the time said, oh my gosh, what are we gonna replace all these elm trees with? And at that time, the urban foresters looked at the ash and said, ooh, here's a nice strong tree that doesn't have any pests that are known to bother it. Let's plant, let's replace huge swaths of street trees with that. And of course, now we have the emerald ash borer and we're losing a lot of our, well, all of our ash trees. So the best thing you can do is plant a biologically diverse mix of trees so that if a pest ever does come through, it targets one species, you haven't lost everything. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are.